Okay guys, so today we're going to learn how to express greetings and feelings in Italian. So just to get started, let's think of the uh, cognates that we previously learned. So what do you think bicicletta means? Bicicletta is bicycle. Alfabeto, number two, alfabeto is alphabet. Necessario, necessario is necessary. Number four, just to refresh our memory, what is a cognate? Cognate is a word in Italian that looks or sounds the same in English. Okay, so let's get into our vocab sheet. As I repeat them, as I say them, you're going to repeat them with me, and then you're also going to be writing it down on your vocab sheet. Okay, so the first word is ciao, repeat, ciao. Ciao is hello. Ciao. Okay, the next one, buongiorno. Let's repeat, buongiorno. Buongiorno is good morning or good day. Buona notte. Repeat. Buona notte. Buona notte is good night. Buona sera. Repeat. Buona sera. Buonasera is good afternoon or good evening. Next one, a dopo. Repeat, a dopo. A dopo is see you later. Ci vediamo domani. Repeat. Ci vediamo domani. Is see you tomorrow. The next one. Ci vediamo presto. Repeat. Ci vediamo presto. That is see you soon. Next one, arrivederci. Repeat, arrivederci. Arrivederci is goodbye. Grazie. Repeat, grazie. Grazie is thank you. Prego. Repeat. Prego. Prego is you're welcome. Buona giornata. Repeat, buona giornata. 
is good day. Come ti chiami? Repeat. Come ti chiami? Is what is your name? Mi chiamo? Repeat, mi chiamo is my name is. Ti presento, repeat, ti presento is I present to you. Next word, piacere. Repeat, piacere. Piacere is nice to meet you. Ugualmente. Repeat, ugualmente. Ugualmente is same or likewise. Okay, now we're going to review some feelings, how we're how we're feeling. Um, there are two different ways to say I am. For these expressions, we're going to say sto. We're going to use sto. Sto is I am. So the first one we have bene. Sto bene is good. Benissimo. Repeat, benissimo is very good. Next one, così così. Repeat, così così. Is okay or all right. Next one, male. Repeat, male. That's bad. So again, all of these expressions we're going to use with sto. And the next set we're going to use with sono. Io sono also means I am. The first one, triste. Repeat, triste. That is sad. The next one, arrabbiato, repeat, arrabbiato, that is mad. The next one, ammalato, repeat, ammalato, that is sick. Nervoso, repeat, nervoso, nervous. Annoyato, repeat, annoyato. Anoyato is bored. Now, as you can see here, for some of the words we have an O and an A, if you're talking about yourself and you're a boy, 
or you're talking about a boy, you're going to end the word in O. If you're talking about a female or you are a female, you're going to end the word in A. Okay, now sono and sto both are used when you talk about yourself, I. Let's say we would like to talk about someone else. On your vocab sheet, you have this chart. There's nothing to write down, but just go through the chart and see here. Here I have io sto, which is I am. If you want to say he is, you would say lui sta. If you would like to say we are, you would say noi stiamo. You all are voi state. Okay, so again, back to here, I could say lui sta bene. He is good instead of saying sto. Okay, so that's what those charts are. And here, estere, whenever we would use sono, which are for these, I would say instead of saying io sono arrabbiato, I am mad, I could say lei, she, lei è arrabbiata. Okay, so you, you may have to refer to this chart in the next coming days just to review um, the different ways of saying it or the different people you can talk about. So I have, just to repeat, io sto, tu stai, lei sta, lui sta. Lei with a capital is you formal if you're talking to somebody who you would like to treat with more respect. Lei sta. Noi stiamo. Voi state. Loro stanno. Okay, now loro with a capital is you all, again, if you want to treat a group of people with respect and you're talking to them. Just to review us today, I have io sono. Tu sei. Lei è. Lui è. Lei è is you formal. Noi siamo. Voi siete. Loro sono. And again, loro, you all formal is also loro. Okay, just to go back, um, I could put the word molto in front of any word to describe how I'm feeling. And I'm telling you, it's very. So I could say molto male, very bad. Or molto bene. Okay, and that concludes today's introduction of feelings and greetings.